The music wasn't the only thing that was hot at the 2011 Exponential Music Festival presented by Subaru. Thousands of XPN listeners filled Camden County's Wiggins Park along the Delaware River for three days, giving a warm reception to more than 30 artists on two stages. Many of the artists are longtime favorites for XPN listeners. There's, there's just a familiarity with the people here in, in Philadelphia, there's that community. Gaxpian was one of the first uh, stations to play my music, so it, it, it is, uh, it's always great to, to know that people are out there listening. There were bands that just got back together. others that never left. But what makes a festival great are the acts that you discover for the first time. with artists and stayed cool with free beverages. An army of volunteers and a long list of sponsors helped keep the prices low, all the while making lots of new friends and customers. The WXBN Village offers station and artist merchandise as well as a tribute to the 20th anniversary of World Cafe as a national radio program. Ryan Simmons designed this exhibit. What's the idea behind it? Uh, well, you know, uh, World Cafe is turning 20 this year, so we went back 20 years and we looked at all the technology of that time. Uh, we went five years in the future, looked at that technology five years again, looked at that technology, and uh, you see how much has changed and you see how much stuff has really just kind of disappeared. Um, and World Cafe is still here, so it's pretty awesome. The kids' corner at the Camden Children's Garden added to the family-friendly vibe of the festival that extended from the misting tents to the artist's dressing room. That's Andrew Lipke and his eight-week-old baby. She's cool, she's got pass. She's good. Hometown festival appearances are a great opportunity for local artists. It makes you realize that you can have a career in music and you don't necessarily have to be living in a car your whole life, you know? I mean, if you want to go that road, you can go that road, that's totally fine, but you can actually, you know, get exposure and build an audience and have a family. You know, like, you can do those two things because you have people in your own community that support you, and that's, like, priceless. Philadelphia is more than just a backdrop for the festival. As always, there was a significant array of local talent.
David Usikinen's In the Pocket Project featured an all-star local band and honors Philadelphia music history. And basically what I do is record songs that, uh, and, and music that influenced me and uh, artists that influenced me growing up in Philly. You know, the, well, I think the greatest city in the world. But it was two legends who are still making great new music who headlined this year's festival. Booker T. Jones. And Emmy Lou Harris. In the cooling breezes of the Delaware River at the 2011 Exponential Music Festival, this is Radio Video.